let's talk it's been a very long time since i've been back at davidson literally insane it's been a year if you're new here again welcome back my name is alice and I am a third year. I'm a second semester junior here at Davidson College in North Carolina and I vlog my life at Davidson or as much as I can. I'm taking five classes right now. I'm an Africana Studies major and Hispanic Studies minor. I am the only person in my grade right now in Africana Studies. So if you're watching this and you're interested in Africana Studies, please reach out to me. I would love to talk about my experience in Africana Studies. It has literally changed my life, this department and the way I see the world and the way I engage with different spaces and just in general with my life. I am taking five classes because I am graduating early by a semester. That is my plan. I came back from abroad. If you have not seen my vlog from abroad, here it is. It's literally week six, which is insane here in Davidson. So I've been trying to wake up between four and five, probably just realistically around 4 30 4 45 and then i go to the gym from around 5 to 6 30 or like 5 15 to 6 30. today i did weights and i also ran i'm training for a running race and then i go back i take a shower i take cold showers every morning and this is kind of a practice to drop into a deeper sense of my body and just get in touch more with elements and I make my breakfast. I always make breakfast here in my dorm. I'm vegan slash flex vegan plant-based. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of work. So usually just really focus on doing work in the morning to kind of really arrange my schedule to the most op optimal times where I'm focused and I can really do the most productive work. I have this journal right here. It's my manifestation journal and it has all of my deepest secrets in here. And second class is Chinese 102 and so if you don't know I'm adopted and I am just now learning Chinese. I was adopted from China but I have white parents and I never was able to have that kind of opportunity to discover more aspects about my culture such as like language. I just did basically the entire Chinese 101 over break in the course of three weeks and then I was able to be in 102 but Chinese is normally a year-long course. You're enrolled in 101 and 102 for the entire year. So it's been a bit of a struggle to come into a class where people have already had extensive background. They're either a native, they're either have taken Chinese since middle school or high school, or they're just have taken 101 before and I just did not take 101. So I have to do these characters in the matter of an hour and then I have to go back to class. And then I have another class right after that, which is another Africana class, Tony K. Bambara, one of my favorite classes. And so that is for my schedule for Monday. I have three classes, so I will talk to you all soon. I got to get back to work. Hey y'all, I'm here in the student union and we are doing a little den haul. I have my cold brew, ice cold brew. You know, the coffee grind is real, unfortunately, the five classes, but that's okay. We're getting through it. Okay, honestly, it's actually really good. I actually really like it. And then we have this salad that's called the Bene Brutal. Okay, that just smells really good. I don't know why I don't get this more often. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I have office hours at two. I'm going to do work for the rest of the day. And then after that, I have dinner. So that is the grind today. So I will check in after my friend gets here. Hopefully she's getting here soon. And now Audrey came. Hello, Audrey. Hi. <laughs> Audrey and I met like, my first year spring in one of our classes but now you can see the connections the wildcat connections <laughs> what is your favorite part about davidson oh 
Oh, not that I'm the admissions no, officer, it's okay. but I want to get like the real true raw my, experience to VR. My favorite part about Davidson probably is like the ways that you're able to make change here and like be a part of things and actually feel Audrey's like the number one change maker. Oh here, no, that's not true. No. <laughs> um, but Alice and I both did PASA together. Yes, um, we're going to bet PASA. I'm going to put the Instagram on the screen right here. So Pan you can, Asian Student yes. Association. Literally and, join now. And it's just, yeah, it's a great organization. There's so many cool affinity groups on campus who do such amazing work. And it's all student-led, which is all like student awesome. All student-led. Tell me a hot take on Davidson. I have, my, I have my hot take. What's your hot take? Well, my hot take is everyone tells me Commons is bad, but I honestly okay, like- Okay, that's what I, 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 my hot take was Oh, be. literally, actually, I think Commons is the most variety and the most option to like make, make it the best like option you want. Yeah. Like, I honestly think Commons is not that bad. I, so everyone hating on Commons, when you go on the admissions office tour, that's actually not true. Okay. My hot take, maybe this isn't so hot of a take once you're at Davidson, but I think like everyone who comes into Davidson, like looking at it as a prospective school thinks it's like way too small. It's not. I don't know like a lot of the student population here. True. You can be a silent 500 if you want to. 100%. Like, you can be like down low. You can keep your profile low. Yeah. And like, it's, it's like easy to do. And like I walk around campus and I'm like, dang, I really like don't know as many people as I thought. That's so true. I, I feel like you can be the number one celebrity in campus by just making so much gossip and drama for yourself. That will so you happen. Just but then you can also just be like, your own thing. you can be like, no, I want to have a like a more like low key perspective and like, yeah. You do you. That's the my, message. My you do you. Kid, maybe. Thanks, Audrey. Hello. I am back from lunch and I am walking to office hours with Chinese. Right now it's around 1.40 and I have office hours at 2. I'm just passing by the football stadium and that's the science center. I have four more days till spring break until I get to be in sunny LA, which I'm so excited about but I just need to make it through these four days, grind out, and then I'll be good. So I will see you all later. I'm gonna do some prep and look at these beautiful yellow flowers. So pretty. So I will see you all in a second, later. Okay, bye. <laughs> almost three o'clock i have literally almost fifteen thousand steps so it's literally 3 p.m <laughs> but i think that's partly because i ran today and then also just like me walking around campus everywhere okay i'm literally all over the place if you haven't noticed that's just my vibe this semester but meal prepping i always meal prep on sunday and i make around four meals for the week, uh, around four lunches. And then I always finesse as much as I can Davidson's free meals. I just make sure to help out at events so I get free food or I just find free food at free events. So I always am looking and scouting for free meals. And so I meal prep for four of those meals, make every single breakfast on my own. And then for dinners, I do commons. And as I mentioned before, hot take, I think commons is actually good. I think as a vegan slash flexa vegan slash plant-based person, it gives me the most options and varieties. I can make salads. I can get a vegan pizza. I can get the power plant, which is like the all vegan station. I can mix and match. Like it's just so much more variety versus like union. It's like $10 for a hamburger. It's like, no. I'm gonna do three hours of focused work and then I will go to dinner with my friend Kaya. So I will see you all on the other side. Okay, bye y'all. Okay y'all, I finished my work. I'm literally um, brain dead for a second, but I basically did work from three until now. It's 6.10 right now. I'm going to go to Commons and get some yummy tofu. I'm so excited and then come back and do a little bit more work i will see you all at dinner bye literally running to commons for like no good reason i just want to run so here we are running to dinner oh my gosh it is a little cloudy outside but now oh my gosh i just ran up the entire hill 
Okay. Anyways, love that. Now off to dinner. We have these really cute lights up. They've been up ever since COVID. And they're honestly kind of romantic. Like, maybe hot take, but... Anyways, literally gassed. No reason why I was running should be or did run up that hill. But now it's time to munch on some cards. So, so excited. Okay, y'all, I made it to Commons and I'm meeting with my friend Kaya. But first, let's do a proper dinner haul. So, I have some spinach and some potatoes. And then I have my favorite mango tofu curry. And I'm honestly so excited. And I have at least two glasses of water. Basically, I just got ready for bed. It's literally 8.30, I know. I have my retainer here exposed. But that is what the 4 a.m. grind is for, 9 to 4, you know the grind. So I am going to bed soon, so there's really not that much to vlog about. I had such an amazing weekend. I went to hot yoga. I also got boba with my friend, and I went to this amazing art exhibit on campus. And then I went to a music concert last night. So literally just like kind of reaffirming that you can have a great weekend slash a great time at Davidson by not having to go out and party and get drunk every weekend or going to certain eating house and fraternity events. Just like kind of reiterating that like it's really possible to have a great time on campus, have so much fun and kind of just like really live in like the and cherish like the small moments of life. And whether that be seeing the flowers or hearing the birds or just having a really, really quality conversation with your friends like I did tonight, being able to bask in that kind of ability to really reap the joy out of small moments i think is so important at davidson and something that kind of is lost at times i want to thank you all for joining me on my day in the life establishing this beauty in the mundane and establishing this beauty in routine and just this lust and love for life i think is so important and something i did want to highlight in this video so that is that and i'm gonna sign up for now i am going to join my event and then i'm to put my retainer in and go to bed but thank you all so much for joining me on my day again if you have any other questions um feel free to contact this email below and i will get back to you i would love to zoom with you if you're a prospective student or just generally like be friends on the internet like i'm down to be friends wherever walk of life that you come from like you are accepted and you are welcomed into the space so thank you so much for spending time with me today spending time watching my videos and supporting me i cherish you all so much so I hope you all have a great rest of your evening or day or wherever this video may find you and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!